Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will design battery pack in MATLAB Simulink and uh, apart from this, I will discuss about what is C rate in battery and how to estimate C rate, then how to find C rate in uh, given battery pack. Everything I will discuss in this video. Well, if you are designing battery pack and want to know about C rating, then you watch this video till end. Let's come back to Simulink. I will design one battery pack of 50 volts, 25 H rated capacity. Let me browse battery. Okay, here is the battery. And I will double click. I will change nominal voltage to 3.7. And I, I am designing rated capacity of battery pack that is 25H. Okay, battery pack rated capacity will be 25H. So I will keep this 12.5. And later I will add one cell in parallel so that it will be 25H in series voltage will be added okay take a note in series voltage will be added and in parallel rated capacity will be added okay now i will copy this one and i will paste it here total i need 12 cells in series now total i have 8 cells okay now you can see 12 cells and for each cells I will connect one cell in parallel well guys now you can see battery placing is almost done now I will make connections plus to minus plus to minus then plus to minus and guys if you are designing battery pack then you can take screenshot okay sorry guys it's taking time okay I think two more okay four more currently I'm doing series connection you can see here I'm connecting plus to minus it means I'm connecting cells in series now I will do parallel connections Okay, in parallel we will connect plus to plus minus to minus this is parallel connection and it will take few seconds yeah almost done you can see here still four batteries are remaining okay And now I will take voltage and current measurement okay after making connections so that uh, I can show you voltage and current values okay here you can see battery pack and this is how series and parallel connections will be done in MATLAB simulating and if you are doing then you can take screenshot and start working on it now i will browse on bus selector so that i can show you soc and current values and all
I will place this here and I will browse now display let me double click on bus selector and select signal that is I will select SOC and current here you can see SOC and current value with the help of display now I will search current measurement then one load that is series RLC branch I want only register load so I will select R and uh, let me keep uh, resistance value 0.3 okay later we will do calculations and doll at beginning I will keep some random value now I will search voltage measurement so that we can measure the battery pack voltage now I need to display and from here we have started from plus yes from plus to minus again from plus to minus plus to minus plus to minus we started like this in this order so here it will be connected for positive okay i will connect positive here and negative i can connect here or else i will connect here both are same then i will make voltage measurement connections so that we can read voltage value here you can see the complete design of battery pack sorry guys i forgot to add one more thing that is current measurement i want to measure current also so let me remove this and now it is done okay now I will run this and first I will keep stop time as 0 so that we can see initial SOC current and voltage values and wait for few seconds it will take few seconds time here you can see the battery pack voltage that is 51.12 and uh, this is the current that is flowing through this uh, register load and here is the initial state of charge that is 100% and this is the battery capacity that is in H and it depends on load now you can see it is uh, 1.3 if I change load then the current will be different it depends on C rate calculations and all now I will explain you C rate and all first me show you if I change resistive load value then the current will decrease suppose I will keep it around 3.8 now you can see the current value will be less than 8 amps okay less than 8 or it will be 6 near to 6 based on my experience I am telling okay let me check I guess it will be 6 or 7 oh yeah you, you can see here it is 6.7 it depends on load and uh, this thing the calculations and all before if you want to do calculations and all then you have to know about C rating okay let's come back to this PPD what is C rating C rate is very important guys uh, you can read here some points first we will see what is C rate C rate meaning of C rate a C rate is a measurement of a rate at which battery is discharged compared to its full capacity and uh, 
suppose guys you, your battery pack c rating is 1c it indicates that your old battery pack will discharge completely in one hour okay meaning of 1c is that you can read this point a 1c rate indicates that that the discharge current will discharge the old battery in one hour and you can also read third point a battery charge and discharge rates are managed by battery c rate okay this is common we know that then come to fourth point that is the battery c rating is the measurement of the current at which a battery is charged and discharged okay it is also general point and uh, you can read this one the capacity of battery is generally rated and labeled at the 1c rate okay 1c rate means the whole battery pack will discharge completely in one hour this means a fully charged battery will with the capacity of 10h suppose the battery pack capacity is 10h should be able to provide 10 amps for one hour and suppose the same battery pack of 10h and having c rating of 0.5c will provide 5 amps for 2 hours and if the same battery pack having a c rating of 2c then it will provide 20 amps for 30 minutes means it will discharge completely in 30 minutes if it is having c rating of 2c okay are you getting my point you can uh, note this point or you can take screenshot of this point and i will also add article link in description below you so that you can go and read article also about what is c rating in battery and you can see a table here you can see the different uh, c ratings suppose you, if your battery pack c rating is 30 c then it means it will discharge completely in two minutes you can see a time and suppose as i discussed earlier if your battery pack uh, c rating is 1 c then to completely discharge it will take one hour I will show this practically okay in the MATLAB simulink I will calculate load value everything okay and we will see everything okay you can see here and uh, then you can see here if your C rating is 0.5 then it will take two hours for battery pack to completely discharge and uh, there are various ratings you can see here and how to find C rating in the battery okay normally it will be mentioned in label here you can read some points smaller batteries are typically rated at the 1c rating uh, which is also understood as one hour rate for example if your battery is rated at uh, 3000 mh for one hour rate then it means 1c rating and you can also find the C rate of your battery on its title or data sheet of the battery. And also you can read this point. And here are some calculations on how to estimate C rate of battery. You can go through these calculations. I will add link in the description below. You can go through these calculations. Guys, now we will see C rating and all practically. Okay. I will calculate load value and uh, I will also show you practically about 1C, 2C and 0.5C rating everything we will see and uh, first uh, let me do some calculations I will take calculator and if you get any doubts then you can ask us in the comment section first uh, we will calculate voltage of uh, total cells that is uh, nominal voltage of one cell is 3.7 and 12 cells are connected in series then voltage will be added the total voltage will be 44.4 then uh, now we will calculate uh, this uh, resistive load value for 1c means for one hour the battery pack should discharge initially the soc is uh, 100% okay soc is 100% uh, we have to calculate register value so that uh, after one hour the SOC must be 1% okay so 
44.4 divided by 25 our rated capacity is 25 this is our resistive load value that is uh, resistance value 1.77 1.77 okay and now i will keep time as for one hour it will be it is in seconds so 3600 second it will be 60 minutes okay now let me run this and uh, you can see here soc value and this battery pack is currently having 1C rating means it will discharge completely in 1 hour the initial state of charge is 100% now I will run this after 3600 seconds it will be 1% near to or 1% it will be and later I will change C rating and all ok we will do again calculations and all guys now you can see the SOC is 1.1 okay this is how you can calculate C rate and the load everything now we will make C rate as uh, as per this table okay 0.5 for 0.5 it will take 2 hours to completely discharge whole battery okay and we have to calculate resistance value also 4.c come back to this uh, simulink and uh, guys for point 5c the resistance value must be okay point 0.17 into 2 that is 3.5 3.55 and for one hour it will be the SOC will be 50% near to 50% or it will be 49 or for 51% okay we will run this for one hour and we will see the SOC value I think my calculation is correct okay if it is wrong also we will do again guys you can see it is near to 50 that is 46.81 and uh, it will take 2 hours to discharge completely so the time must be 2 hours that is 7200 seconds now it will be 0 now you can see the SOC is 0 and uh, let's try with uh, 2c okay for 2c we have to change again resistance value that is 1.776 divided by 2 this will be the resistance value for 2c and it will take 30 minutes to discharge completely okay it will take 30 minutes 0.88 for 30 minutes what must be the seconds value I think eighteen hundred seconds.
okay fine now i will run this and you can see your soc value it will be near to zero you can see here now the soc value is three percent it is almost uh, near to zero only so for 900 seconds it will be near to 50 percent here you can see it is 48 percent this is how you can uh, do c rate calculations and all okay c rating it totally depends on load and uh, for more information and you can also read article on c rating i will add link in description below you can read in detail about c rating and all this is how battery pack is designed in matlab simulink and you can also uh, perform c rating and all if you want to design ba a battery pack that should uh, uh, discharge in five hours then c rating must be how much you can see here that is point to c and uh, if you're if you want to design battery pack of uh, uh, for just for 30 minutes or 20 minutes or two minutes suppose you want to design a battery pack that should uh, discharge completely in uh, two minutes then your c rating must be 30 well if you have any doubts any questions you can ask us in the comment sections or else you can visit our website there is a community and uh, in community you can go and add questions and you can also read answers everything okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day